Superb bar. Must check it out. So the adventure continues. We've still got more places to go to. Come along with us. Good night, bar humbuggers. Welcome back to Singapore. Tropical home to some of the world's greatest shopping and the location of our international adventure to sample some of the world's greatest bars. Tonight we're going native. Native is listed as number 12 on the world's 50 best bar listing and number 6 on the Asian list. Native champions local and regional ingredients with a key focus on sustainability. So kakao needs is actually what the chocolate taste usually uses to make chocolate but the husk is usually a high product. So what we do is we try to mix it into like a little chip of chocolate. Right, the next drink which is called Puranakan. So Puranakan is not, uh, it's actually based on more of the culture and cuisine of Singapore. Uh, a mixture of three different ethnic groups, the Malay, Chinese and Indian. We want to showcase one of the Puranakan dessert called the Kueh Salat. There are some pandan custard on top and some glutinous rice at the bottom. So these are actually some of the very commonly seen ingredients that we see we have some gula melaka, which is palm sugar, pandan, laksa leaves, jackfruits, and this is called kendal nuts. The leftover curd, we cook it with some pandan, which is um, leaf, and some rupee flowers to create a little jelly up top. So jackfruits and seeds. We kind of boil it down and then we kind of grate it on top of the jelly. Just to give a nutty flavor to the jelly. Alright, enjoy guys, peace! Yes. Well, yes. Next very much like cooking mayo nectar. The poster is a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> so yourself? Michael. Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. Yourself? Intel? Intel. Intel. Nice to meet you, Intel. So cool, you guys leave a lot to share with the space up there as well, alright? So you can do some of our commands and experiments. Okay, thank you for coming. Space of native. So this is where we usually conduct our master classes, guest shape, pop up and events as well. And all our little jars at the back um, they do some of our fermentation. Fermenting our own kombucha, milk kefir, water kefir, kimchi, miso, tempeh, kvass and so and so. So this is where you play? Yeah, pretty much. You can experiment, you know, and stuff like that. Alright, thank you Nicholas. Right. Thank you so much again, Mark. No worries. Thank you. Thank you so much again. Thank you for dropping by again. No worries. Thank you again. They actually pretty much done with like our food waste. Loopy flowers, really? coffee beans, cheese. It's all done with food waste. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. You can eat the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night. See you. You can see that Native takes its sustainability credentials very seriously as they focus on changing the world one drink at a time. to find the highest listed Singaporean bar on the 50 best bar listing, Atlas, listed as the 8th best bar in the world. Atlas 
can be found in the lobby of the imposing Parkview Square building. This building looks more like something you'd expect Batman to live in than any office building in Singapore. What an amazing room. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this place. Wall to wall, floor to ceiling. And the ceiling very high. <laughs> Oh wow, that's sensational. How long have you been bartending here? I've been here three years. But when I come to work, I'm just like, oh my god. You will never find anything like this ever. So this is a modern interpretation of an art deco. Yeah. Like when I was in New York and I went to the Empire State Building, it looks mm -hmm. exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, very, very yeah. similar. So that's where they kind of got their inspiration from, Empire State Building, the Chrysler mm -hmm. Building. Mm -hmm. How do, you, how do you get to the top? <laughs> it's one of the most expensive bottles in the world. It is called the Shipwreck Champagne. So this is the champagne. Mm -hmm. This is the prize if you are interested. Mm -hmm. The story of Shipwreck Champagne dates back to World War I when on the 3rd of November 1916, German U-boat U-22 intercepted a Swedish schooner Jan Shopping off the coast of Finland. On board were 4,400 bottles of 1907 hide seek champagne that had been ordered by Russian Tsar Nikolai II. Finding contraband on board, the U-boat commander offloaded the schooner's crew and ordered that explosive charges be placed on board, consigning the Yon Shopping to a watery grave at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. 82 years later in 1998, the ship was finally lifted from 64 metres down and over 2,000 bottles of the precious cargo were recovered intact and created the world's most expensive champagne. Shipwreck champagne. Yeah, do you want to take a look at it? Sure. Yeah. Right. Oh. We're going behind the bar. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. <laughs> Would you actually sell it? So these are the few that we will be willing to sell. Oh, okay. So you won't sell the last one? Yeah, by our own race. So yeah. we have some other vintages here. I, I bring people here just to show off. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, well, yeah, after this This place opens at 10 a.m. in the morning. And I'm pretty sure that this building was built in 2000, certainly. 2002. It certainly looks very convincing. I wouldn't have questioned if they'd said it was built in 1929. And the drinks are good too. It's not outrageously priced unless you want to buy the champagne. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this, this is like 11 out of 10 just to come and see the place. I'm glad I gave myself room to move with the scoring. You shouldn't have had a 10? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Absolutely a must do in Singapore. Definite. A definite. Definite. Definite must, must do. Thank you, Banana. Thank you. Please come to Atlas with the best buy in Asia. <laughs> and the world. Thank you so much. Atlas is one of those places that just has to be seen to be believed. Life is changing in Australia as it is changing all around the world. Life is going to continue to change as we deal with the global 
coronavirus. From 8pm tonight, a curfew will be uh, implemented and it will run from 8pm to 5am each and every day. Uh, it is not an easy decision to make, but it is the decision that is necessary and that is why I have made it. With a record number of new infections reported, the government has now closed schools and many businesses for at least a month. Existing measures will also be tightened. More workplaces will be shut, with only the most essential services to remain open. Many will be disappointed by the extension of the circuit breaker. But I hope you understand is to stamp out the virus and allow us to revive our economy. But the most important thing today is to acknowledge that with zero cases and so much testing, we are able to say that now is the time to open up. Can I confirm that what you're saying is, is that we can finally get back on the beers? Uh, I don't know that I'll be drinking a beer tonight. I might go a little higher up the shelf. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back. Obviously, we're not in Singapore anymore. Uh, a few things have happened in the intervening period since, which is January, and it's now November. Nine and a half months later. Things are starting to open up because we've reached zero cases. Have you enjoyed the lockdown? Um, no. <laughs> so, where we left it was native. What did you score? Native. Nine and a half months later. I scored 80, nine and a half. <laughs> I think them at nine. So I think the sustainability tools knock me back. Like every single drink they make, every ingredient has to come from a local sustainable source. If it can't be used 100%, they won't put it in the drink. But over the, the four bars we went to, Manhattan, 28 Hong Kong Street, Atlas Bar, and then Native, which was your favorite. So my favorite date night bar, was the bar Manhattan. My favourite wow factor bar was Atlas. My favourite chill out bar was 28 Hong Kong Street. My favourite out of the box bar, uh, Native. So, you know, I kind of have my favourites, but in different ways. No, I'm cheating. I like them all for different reasons. Cheat out. Yeah. <laughs> if I was to go back to one of the four of them because I wanted to experience it, yeah, the Manhattan bar. Singapore is such a good destination in its own way. And the bar culture and the bar scene has just exploded. And we look forward to going back. Yeah. What did you think of Raffles and staying in Raffles? I would love to do that again. It's a beautiful place and you feel totally spoiled there and it's a beautiful place to go to. Very expensive place to go to. Well, you know. But you do get a nice limo ride back to the airport. That's yes. right, yes. And tip is stay in the cheapest suite, because even the cheapest is good. So Melbourne is opening up, the bars are starting to open up, but we're all excited to get out and start exploring Melbourne again. So thanks for joining our little channel. Uh, don't forget to like, comment below, hit the subscribe button, and drink responsibly, even if you're traveling. Cheers. Until next time, stay safe, everybody. Wear a mask. Yes. Get on the beers. If it makes no difference if it's sweet or hot, just give that rhythm everything you got. See you next time.